My name is Jacqueline Wade, and it's an honor to be your hostess tonight at DFW Art Awards 2014. I, too, am an artist, and it was by, through the arts, through fine arts, I was able to go to college, go to SMU, Meadow School of the Arts, awarded a scholarship, so it's something I hold dear. Um, the arts has enlightened me to the world, has enabled me 
to see the universe in a great, colorful way. And I hope that we continue to support the fine arts. At this time, I'd like to bring out Daniel. Give him a hand, please. Thank you. Wow. Welcome to the DFW Art Awards. write a speech but <laughs> but um, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a really good speech too you know it talks about my intentions it talks about notoriety it talks about all the things that the, you know the critics wanted me to talk about it's a good speech too it's really really good but it's a it's a speech that I refuse to use because tonight's not about me it's not about my partners in the back. It's not even completely about the awards. Tonight is about you. Not you only as, a, as, a, as an individual, but also as a whole. Because tonight, we give you the incredible task of deciding what DFW Art Awards is. Not what it is tonight, but what it's gonna be forever. When I, when I started this, I looked at it as if it was an art piece because so many different emotions, you know, came to light. And what is an art piece but to evoke some sort of emotion? And boy, did it, did it really wake up some emotions for not only me, but for people around me. When you look at DFW Art Awards, when you artists look at the trophies tonight, and when you take them home, I want you to see them and I want you to be motivated. Motivated to be something better. Motivated to keep on trying. Motivated to be something great. Because if you look around tonight, you can see that art is very much alive in Dallas. And I am proud of that. So thank you. At this moment, I would like to bring Fabian Herrera. He is the executive producer of the show. So everything you see tonight is going to be because of him. Thank you. I think that uh, Daniel stole my speech. <laughs> When Daniel was talking about the DFW Art Awards, you know, it was, first of all, it's like, where are we going to do this at? You know, we didn't have anywhere to, to do it. We, um, we just had this really great idea. And I told him, if we can make the people believe that what we're doing is great, they will give. That's a hard task. You know, it's like, here is... Here is a, a bucket of shit, but it's really great shit, <laughs> you know, but I mean, it was very, it was very scary to have to go in front of people and say, you know what, I really have this great idea. They're like, what is the benefit of this? And it was like, we're going to give back to the community. We're going to give back to the people. We believe in the city. We believe in the people. We believe in the people that live in it from the person that works at McDonald's to the person that paints the mirror on the side of the freeway. Everyone's job and everyone's function in society is important and artists help to create it. From the person that helped design that building to the person that helped design that menu to the person that takes your order at a restaurant. We all have a purpose. We have contributed to every element of life. And there's nowhere in the city for anyone to stand on. It's every man for himself. No one comes together to work together. No one collaborates. Everyone's in their own, in their own world. And I come from a different world, and Daniel comes from a different world, and it wasn't until this week where we had a lot of disagreements, 
on a lot of different things, but in the end we came together because it was because of you. And from each of you I've learned so much, from every person that we interviewed, from every person that we spoke with, to every person that helped make this possible. You are vital. You are vital to this city, you're important to this city, and you're important to us. And today we honor you and we thank you for all the contributions that you've given to the city and that you've given to the people and that you've given to yourself. Because no man gets anywhere alone. Thank you. all been waiting for. I want to see some people get some awards. It's always a joyous occasion. Hey, I love names to put them in the house and brag about, especially when it has to do with creativity. A pop-up gallery curator, a gallery assistant at H. Pax Paxton Moore Fine Art Gallery, and a college student. He uses a variety of me mediums in his work as, they, as of this year, his medium of choice is currency. His work with currency is purely aesthetic. This curator explores the similarities and differences between currencies by juxtaposing their various components. It is an honor to present Curator of the Year, Raymond Butler. <laughs> talking to them, trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do what I want to do in the game. So this one's for you guys. Give me the music one more time. Okay. Okay. and to bring artists and musicians together to conspire for the benefit of the local art scene. The 2005 Art Conspiracy event, the first of its kind, was held at the historic Texas Theater in Oak Cliff, where Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested shortly after President John F. Kennedy was shot. JFK-oriented conspiracy theories are intertwined in modern Dallas life. The name, Art Conspiracy, acknowledges this and also highlights the positive impact conspiracies can bring about. The first art con had more than 100 artists created works, which were sold in a raucous live auction that took place between performances from local musicians. The proceeds of the first art con event totaled over $10,000 and were donated to the Paul Simon founded Children's Health Fund, specially, specially earmarked for kids displaced by Hurricane Katrina. It is with great pride today that exhibit of the year goes to Art Con. <laughs> Um, I'm extremely honored to be standing up here in front of all of my peers 
to accept this award on behalf of our board members, our amazing executive team that is extremely committed to support the local art community, create awareness, and just bring a huge fellowhood and community of artists to kind of make a difference. Um, I've been a part of ArtCon for since ArtCon 2, and um, what I value most about ArtCon is the community, the people that I run with. Uh, this man right here, Rick Fontenot, um, I've known him for two years now, and he's been very valuable to me. He's become a good friend of mine, my current girlfriend, my best friends, the people who run with me is all because of this community that we're a part of. And once again, this is fantastic to be able to accept this award on behalf of Archon. It's a beautiful thing. If you've never been, you have to experience it. We've done a lot, all for the love of art and art education. We've raised a little over half a million dollars in the past 10 years and given it back to the community. Thank you. Thank you, Archon. Don't get me started on conspiracies. All right, I have everyone around here running around with gas masks, <laughs> dry, quick microwavable foods, everything. <laughs> Kettle Art is a gallery space located in the heart of Deep Ellum. Deep Ellum has been a hotbed of Dallas art and music for decades past. Following in the spirit of this creative, unique neighborhood, they are committed to providing a venue for local and emerging artists to showcase their work. The Kettle is run by artists for artists on a purely volunteer basis. Kettle Art opened in November of 2005, and it started as a collaboration between Frank Campagna and Kurt Hopper. They wanted to bring back the life of the streets of Deep Ellum by focusing on the area's artistic heritage. Kettle Art brings the best of emerging local artists to a venue that allows them to learn and thrive as they continue developing their talents. Gallery of the Year goes to the Kettle Art Gallery. Anyway, so we decided to try a different way and be inclusive as opposed to exclusively. Um, and being that way, uh, I thought about having everyone who has shown a kettle come up on the stage, but there's too many damn many of you. Bunch of, let's see, let's see a show of hands, okay? Who here has shown a kettle? See? Okay, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad at all, okay? Kettle put me here if it wasn't you guys. Okay, uh, I don't know. Okay. Thank you. It's an honor. <laughs> Peace. Let's go. Up. Let's go. Up. Let's go. I'd like to present our first presenter, Ray Delis Del Sosantos. <laughs> my privilege tonight to present the award for arts education. In preparing for, the, for this presentation, I had an opportunity to expand my horizons about some of the excellent programs in the arts here in Dallas, in arts education in particular. And while I personally think that all of the nominees deserve to be recognized, it is clear that the community saw something great happening underground, above ground, and in venues large and small, that led them to select this year's winner of the Arts Education Award. 
organizing his first show in 2007. Tonight's award winner seeks to showcase aspiring creatives from a multitude of fields to challenge them to expand their reach into communities that they might not be familiar with, while also challenging the general community to expand its horizons to encompass the work of these creatives. Please join me in recognizing arts, love, magic. Um, so, two of us will do comments real quick. I'm Michael Ligaki. I'm one of the three founders of Our Love Magic. This is Iris Candelaria, our current executive director. Um, that was a beautiful introduction. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a couple little things I'd like you to know about the program if you've never been to an Art Love Magic Kids Creative Workshop. Uh, we put them on, we've modeled it so that it can be both completely free to attendees, but that the artists who work it are able to get a day's pay for it. Uh, even though 100% of the artists I bet would volunteer to do the work because it's so good, uh, we thought from the jump that it was important for artists to get professional paid experiences for giving back that they could put on their resume and that they could go forward with. The other thing I'd like you to know about the program is from the very first one, it was important to us that it not run like a school classroom. Uh, we do not have agendas or lesson plans when we do that. We do it in a studio format. The kids are recognized as collaborators and artists themselves, and they can, they can interact with the program in any way they'd like to. I've seen kids go from station to station to station, running around and learning something different every time, and I've seen kids stick with one single artist and really get in-depth instruction. And we wanted it to have that freedom, and we think that it's very, very important. So we're proud, and thank you very much uh, and then I'm going to ask Iris Candelari to say the words. We just want to say thank you for um, even considering us for this award. And thank you to the parents who bring your children and who realize that art is needed um, in order for your children to be creative, for them to grow as a whole and as a person. Art is a big, huge part of a child's life. So we just want to say thank you very much for choosing us, and this is our future. You know, we just love giving back, so thank you very much. But tell me, when doing the math, 
and you finally break it down, who was wrong? Which one of us was supposed to bring the trophy home? I know a lot of people think, oh, it's Rolling Stone, and stories always go on, but stop repeating history. Where's the mystery? Nothing new to discover? People are still caught up in modern day times, searching for lovers after lover, instead of unifying with their brother? What kind of sense they make? Is this what we've done with our faith? We all grow up just a little too late and leave the rest up for the bank. Now, I don't want to be caught up like that. I want something new out of life. I want something I can do to give my children so they'll do it right. Don't you feel the same way I feel? Huh? Don't you finally agree this is a really tough pill? No longer wanting to swallow this because there's money laid on the table when you take the deal? Yeah, truly, we all got something to be ashamed of. Why in the world does it come down to somebody willing to put a trigger inside of a gun for somebody else to pull to take mass fathers from their sons? Tell me, who's richer? The man with everything, including snakes in his grass, or the woman with the gold, willing to fight to have? Ha, huh. yeah, still silly. You lose everything in the midst of panic. Everything for your vanity. Still fighting to keep your sanity. Where do you fit in in humanity? Yeah, we've seen it all before. You start from the bottom, you end up here, and you're looking over from the top floor. Everything you've ever wanted from the Lord. Well, what did you really have to pass on? What are you giving back? What can you say you did in exchange for everybody who pained and every back you stepped on and every person who stood out there for you to do your thing? No, you take it all for granted. While everybody else is sitting around fretting and they panic, you look good up in your cottage. You look good denying your knowledge. I want something that I can have at my table. <laughs> I want to feel good when I sign the dotted line and end up in that label. But the last thing I want to do is be stuck in that stable where I have to hang myself in that cable just to fit in with the rest of the trends. I no longer want to be that man. I want to be him who sets one. I want to be him who loves, even if it's my stepson. Yeah, I want something to give back. I want a reason to come out, fist ball, no reason to relax. I want to fight in the middle of a war. I don't want to be the guy who just went over to the sands and took the tour. I want to help you survive. I want to keep that freedom alive. I'm hoping tonight I've given you something. I hope what I brought you sought. And I hope what I've taught you don't rot. My name is Joey B. Peace and one love. Joey the Bull. Yeah. It's an awesome thing to be able to create art through vibration, through words, what we use. And um, it's always an admirable thing as I choose to write often, wait for us to get our emotions out. This man needs no introduction. He is the heart and soul of Deep Ellum. It is with great pleasure to present the Art Philanthropy Award to Frank Campagna. different than, than uh, 
most galleries, except we really give a shit and push our artist. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not, not getting any other, others, but I'm just saying. Because these are our friends. We are them and they are us, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Uh, I do want to say that uh, philanthropy wise, somebody like Art Love Magic, seriously, they do good. You know? <laughs> Kirk Hopper Fine Art. Seriously, Kirk puts his money where his mouth is and backs his artists. I wish I had some, some damn money because I would definitely put some more behind my arms too, but I'm just saying, he really does it. Uh, I'd say the, the king granddaddy of them all would have to be our conspiracy because they are definitely invested in the future. They really, really, really deserve this and have a lot more than I do, but I do appreciate it and God bless y'all, okay? Thank you. And my lovely girlfriend Paula Harris, whoever the hell she is. I love you, man. all learn from the great philanthropists of the city, um, especially seeing that this is something that gives our, it, it pushes our livelihood. And so just to be able to learn from others to give back to the arts community is an awesome thing. On to the next award. We as humans are naturally drawn to the unorthodox. This, art, this artist has always enjoyed the use of an unconventional as a base for his artwork. He enjoys creating art that people can relate to and that stimulates the creative subconscious. Not only to create an emotional relationship between art and viewer, but to conjure up questions of how and why. It is the desire to create a connection with the viewer that, he, that fuels his creativity. His passion is creating a perfect balance of light and shadow. Light is the core of his artwork. Without light, there is no art. Without art, there is no life. The 2014 Sculpture Award goes to Sergio Garcia. and human connection through a variety of mediums ranging from still photography, film, performance art, location installations, and music. He has been an active participant in the Dallas art scene through various festivals, annual events, and collaborations with and within the city of Dallas. He received the Dallas Observers Award for the best soul glow for photography in 2006 and Best Art Gallery of Dallas in 2009. He is currently working on the post-production of his first feature-length film, Something From Nothing, in between videoing his grandma dancing and eating cookies. This artist enjoys finding ways of weaving his work into the power of serving others. It is with great honor to present our photography award to Hal Sample. And and here to accept his award for him is Elvis Preston. I 
I'm obviously not Hal Samples. <laughs> How did he get this award, really? I know a lot of other uh, really talented photographers, a lot more talented than he is. <laughs> By the way, again, my name is Elvis Clifton, Tony Clifton's brother. <laughs> Hal asked me to come here tonight because he's got some social anxiety. He really is excited to accept the award for best photographer in Dallas, especially in the company of the people who you've seen tonight, the ones you're going to see after me. I see some faces. One thing that I know that he loves is being up here to be able to. <laughs> this is him. This is him. <laughs> What I see right now is a lot of suspicious minds. So, uh, we're gonna pretend that this didn't happen. You know the rules of Fight Club? What's the first rule of Fight Club? We don't talk about Fight Club. This is if it doesn't go good. If it goes good, you tell everybody. What's the second rule of Fight Club? We don't talk about Fight Club. I see some more suspicious Minds. Curtain. You ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. We're caught in a trap We can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby What can't you see? What you're doing to me? When you don't believe a word I say We go on together Especially when you cheer it. 
All right. I'll make it work. You could have left the wig, though. You could have made that work as well. I left that behind, a little wig control, and I would have made it work. I would like to welcome to the stage Couture to Vintage's own Dora Chu. most of his 28 years. Anthony would become so passionate about art that he even began sharing his passion with his high school teachers as he would artfully draw and decorate his high school finals instead of taking them. No answers, just lots of really good decorations. And Anthony dreamed about seeing his art in Low Rider magazine. In 2005, Anthony began working as a professional airbrush artist. He worked really long hours, but those paid off because by 2010, he was excelling at many car paint jobs for car companies, winning Best Murals Awards and the Las Vegas Lowrider Super Show. He collaborated with Fabian Villarreal, AKA Candyman, their 1986 Painted Cutlass won the esteemed 2013 Lowrider Car of the Year competition. Woo! Anthony remains close to the vibrant community of professional airbrush artists, and his goal to be the best in the world is right around the corner. So I am so honored to present the Art Design Award to Anthony Torres. Thank you.
Create his work on various mediums. Custom work ranges from artwork on spray cans, canvases, to custom murals seen around the DFW area and nationwide. He has drawn most of his life, however, discovered graffiti around 1996 or 1997. He is inspired by his family, crew, and various artists around the world. It is an honor to present Graffiti Artist of the Year to skills. Center for putting all of this together and having us here tonight. 
I would also like to thank all of Dallas Fort Worth for voting and who have enjoyed and supported my work over the years. And last but not least, a huge thank you to my family, friends, girlfriends, crew. <laughs> not girlfriends, but friends. <laughs> I get twisted. <laughs> and my crew for believing in me and inspiring me to create. I'm going to keep making Dallas look badass and beautiful all at the same time. This is dedicated to my brother and mentor and crew member, Mr. Minus One. So I almost tripped over a big pile of boards. It was awesome. <laughs> a native of Oak Cliff, Texas, she has been making art and music for over 18 years. She's currently working as a freelance artist, muralist, and arts and culture advocate for Mercado Billy, a monthly printed publication. Her mural portfolio includes work for residential and commercial clients, as well as working on the prestigious project with Icon Murals and Mary Kay to create the largest artwork made solely from makeup and now a Guinness World Record holder. It is exciting for us to present Muralist of the Year to Patricia Rodriguez. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, former Miss South Lake and current Dallas Maverick dancer, Elise Martinez. Bring the action. Thank you for everyone, for all that you do with the arts. Um, it is my honor to present the Art Career Award. Um, this group has gone from the streets to the gallery. They have bridged cultural gaps with their graffiti art everywhere. They go from LA to overseas. They love their city, and we love all they do for our community. It is with great honor today that we present Sour Grapes with Art Crew of the Year. But uh, one of the things that I think um, I really want to express to you guys is, um, you know, we've been a group for 15 years now. This year is our 15 year anniversary. And, uh, you know, we've done so many things. We've worked with so many amazing people. Uh, everybody from Nike to Neiman Marcus to Red Bull, like all these crazy people that we've worked for, traveled all over the world, seeing amazing things. 
But uh, I think the most important, the most rewarding thing for us is when we get to work with kids, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club or Big Brothers, Big Sisters, or just some of the workshops that we do. And uh, to me, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling to see young kids uh, see what we do and try to interpret, interpret what we do in their way. And uh, recently, I actually had somebody say, hey, uh, cause I, have, I have a seven-year-old son, Benny. And uh, they were like, well, what are you going to do if one day Benny decides he's going to do illegal graffiti somewhere? Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll know when we get there, you know. But uh, <laughs> it's so funny because uh, not long ago, actually it was a few weeks ago, uh, his uh, gym coach said, hey, man, uh, we caught Benny writing his name on the wall. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, man. So the teacher, you know, the, the gym coach was like, well, that's not the thing that, you know, it bothered me that he did that. He got in trouble with I asked your son why he did it. He said, well, my dad gets paid to do it. <laughs> so I thought that was, I mean, I was, I was kind of upset, but I was really not happy that was looking at what I was doing and you know and I, I think it's an amazing thing that we're able to you know set an example we're writing the blueprint for a lot of these young artists that don't know how it's done and we're trying to show them how to do it and uh, even like I said even though we do all these amazing things that we try to encourage all these young artists to find their to find their creative outlets and we're living proof that it's you know it's possible to to be successful and make a living through your art, whether you're a photographer, a dancer, a graffiti artist, whatever it may be, we encourage everybody to, you know, really embrace what they're good at, you know, put a lot of work behind it, and you, you know, it's, it's gonna get you somewhere. And, and, you know, it's amazing to get these awards, it's amazing to get acknowledged for what we do, and we travel and all that stuff, and uh, I think what's more important though is when you reach those points of success, you don't really want to get there and tell everybody how cool it was when you look back at all of that stuff. You want to look back and say, you know what, I'm going to help him, show him how to do it. I'm going to show her how to do it too. And that's what I encourage other artists to do. And anybody that's trying to, you know, build a career as an artist, is when you get to that point, look back and help somebody make it also. Show them how to do it because that's exactly, you know, when they get there and they receive those awards, they'll be thanking you for that. And, you know, that's really what I want to express, and that's what Sagres represent. We represent, you know, um, you know we, we don't really come from an amazing background, but we're here. We're, you know, we're able to make a success story, and, you know, I'm really happy that my son's able to see that now. And whether my son chooses to do art or not, I mean, I, I, I feel happy about what I do, and I know that my, my encouragement is going to get him somewhere where he can be able to get, look back and, you know, give to somebody else. So... But I want to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts that, you know, we're very happy to be here. We're happy to represent Dallas. No matter where we are in the world, you know, we're taking Dallas with us. Thank you.
more time for her. Okay. Give it up. <laughs> Two of my favorites. Beautifully done. Thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you. At the age of 14, he started to look for another outlet of creativity. He got introduced into the hip hop culture and started to get involved with graffiti. This became an extremely important element for him. Graffiti has helped him express himself through his art in a more freely manner. He became acquainted with different kinds of art mediums and started to evolve his visions. Today, he incorporates the urban techniques to a surreal art form, giving him a finished product of an edgy, modern surrealism. It is with great pleasure we present our Realism Award to Hatiel Flores. and express myself. Uh, the one thing about it, being an artist and everybody that's in here is being able to express yourselves. Now, expression is a very important thing. And whenever somebody takes away the freedom of expression because uh, religious beliefs or anything like that, it really, hurts for, it really hurts the artist because in reality, that's what we do. We want the freedom of expression. Um, fortunately, that cannot happen sometimes. And we got to fight for that right to be free to express ourselves, regardless of the media. I am Charlie. Power of nature. There is a peaceful mysticism in her beauty, which feeds his creative spirit. As an artist, he tries to capture all the emotion and passion, all the emotion and passion he receives from subjects and produce explosive displays of color onto the canvas. Whether he chooses, chooses the subject or the subject chooses him, there's always a deep spiritual connection to every work of art he creates. He hopes to share his thoughts, visions, spirit, and soul with the world through art and invite all into the mystical wonderment that is nature. Our 2014 Expressionism Award goes to Doug Winters. Remind me of him and his wife. 
As a lifelong award-winning career artist born and raised in Wachahachu, Texas, she works in mediums of fiber, jewelry, silversmith, oil, and a caustic wax painting. Her close connection with her horses, nature, and respect for Mother Earth is expressed in her work. Her life goal and artistic goal is to create the visions of her true nature, sharing the spiritual journey on canvas of her inner visions. With art, her desire is to provoke a feeling as well as a mere object of beauty. She intends to connect the observer to that feeling which lifts her and brings her joy. Our 2014 Abstract Award winner goes to Kiki Curry. abstraction goes. Um, life is an abstraction and it's up to, up to us as artists and leaders in the art society to create our lives daily and so that's what I do um, on a daily basis. I try to uh, put my thoughts, feelings, and actions into how I want uh, to paint my life. And so thank you very much for this. I know how much work is involved in organizing anything. And uh, Daniel and Fabian, you've done a wonderful job. And it's been a pleasure and an honor to be up here and, thank, and accept this award. Thank you so much. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage local actress and model, Haiti Vanessa. Everybody knows this right here. Your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. Everybody sing Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm really excited to be here for the first annual DFW um, Art Awards. I'd like to thank Fabian and Daniel for letting me be a part of this. This is really, really amazing, and the energy in this room is just crazy. I love it, I love it. Um, Jason Chogger has been working as a professional for over 20 years, or as he states, ever since he could pick up a pencil. As a kid, he was largely influenced by Star Wars. So much so, he had a Star Wars-themed wedding reception. <laughs> he claims that his wife is a huge fan herself, but I say that he's a lucky man to have found a woman that loves him that much. Because I don't know that I would want my writing reception to be Star Wars. Just saying. Jason has a bachelor's degree in graphic design from Hardin Simmons University, as well as a master's of fine arts and illustration. In 2009, Jason moved back to Dallas to, care, to help care for his parents and has been freelancing ever since. In uh, 2011, Jason was featured in the Spectrum book which showcases the best artists of contemporary or fantastic art in the world. He also had a chance to work as an animator for the feature film A Scanner Darkly, which actually star it starred Robert Downey Jr., Winona Ryder, and Keanu Reeves. He currently works for Tops and Upper Deck, sketching one-of-a-kind trading cards, which include Star Wars. Mars Attacks, Wacky Packages, and Marvel. So if you or someone you know is into collecting trading cards, you may just find yourself with a Jason Chalker original. If you could please help me welcome the Pop Art Award winner for the DFW Art Awards of 2014, Jason Chalker. <laughs> and so 
song and spoken word and Elvis the pelvis. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to thank everybody for the support and uh, for letting me be a nerd for a living. And uh, it's yeah. pretty awesome. And also, big thank you to my wife. Um, I really couldn't have made it this far without her. So thank you. <laughs> I bought this soundtrack for my son. He makes me play it every time we're in the car. <laughs> so, no, it's, it's pretty awesome. You know, especially when people cut me off, I feel like I could pull out like a lightsaber, <laughs> do some things with it. I just want to reiterate how awesome it is to um, be in the midst of such great artists, people who have accomplished so much, not only um, with their visual art, but authors, Pulitzer Prize winners. Just give yourselves another round of applause. <laughs> Let's welcome to the stage, hot 93.3 <laughs> personality, Vicky. How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you to Baby Ed and to Daniel for having me this evening. And I'm really excited for presenting this next award to uh, Frank. Okay, Frank Capagna has been painted in Dallas since the late 1970s and is considered by many to be the godfather of Deep Ellum. From 1982 to 1986, Compagna hosted musical acts in his neighborhood art studio, Studio D including the Dead Kennedys, the Bisfits, Butthole Surfers, and the Meat Puppets. Yeah. In the 1990s, he's led hundreds of artists in numerous mural painting marathons along the Good Latimer Tunnel. Throughout the Gypsy Tea Room eight-year run, Capadna created over 1,000 murals depicting musical luminaries who performed at the famous venue. In 2005, he founded the Kennel Art Gallery, now located at 2650 B Main Street, with the mission to nurture emerging mid-career North Texas artists. The gallery has received numerous awards, including U.S. Today's 10 Best Galleries in Dallas, Dallas Observer's Choice for Best Art Gallery, and Dallas A-List Best Art Gallery. In September 2014, Capagna was named one of da excuse me, in 2014, Compagna was named one of the Dallas 40, a list recognizing Dallas citizens who have made a remarkable impact in the city in celebration of D Magazine's 40th anniversary. Can we get everybody to stand up? We have the pleasure to present Frank Compagna, the Lifetime Achievement Award yeah. winner. like I'm not dead yet, you know, I'm not done yet, I got lots of things to do still. Um, I'm older, but not, I'm not old yet. So um, there's one thing I do want to point out though, throughout this, the course of this evening. Um, awful lot of talent in this room. Awful lot of people were being, rec being recognized. I would like next year to see whether you're nominated or not, to still see you show up here to show support for the, the city. This is one small step, okay? This is just the beginning, okay? I think it's a really cool thing. Of course, I've heard this many times, and I'm, I'm sure that um, Daniel has heard it as well, and uh, Fabian has heard it as well, that, uh, you know, people are kind of skeptical at first about this thing. But, uh, you know, their, their aim is true, and their hearts are in the right place, and I think it's really super cool that they took the time to put this together yeah. and put us all up on the stage one way or another. <laughs> Shine the lights spread around because, um, because we do need it. I mean, if anything, it really means more to me, as I'm sure a lot of you will testify as well, that we've been standing in the same spot, that it means more to be coming 
from your peers than it does from hell, I don't know where, but you know what I'm saying, like from outer space or something like that. But, but, but to be recognized by your fellow friends and artists and that type of thing really means an awful lot. Um, Lifetime Achievement Award, I want, you all, I want you all to aspire to get that, you know. Hell, I don't deserve it, but I want everybody to know that they also deserve this. It's really important that we all have each other's back. We continue to do this, you know. I mean, we've done this for years, and we're doing it better and better and better. Remember a little while ago, I was up here getting the other award for something? And, <laughs> and I was like, you know, you're lucky to have the studio girl sitting behind the gallery, you know, behind the desk of the gallery, and give you the time of day. Um, Obviously, things have changed a lot as far as this type of art scene goes. I'm not saying this is the right art scene or the wrong art scene or the highfalutin art scene or whatever. I just know this is our art scene. It's one yeah. badass art scene. Yeah. Yeah. I want to thank all y'all. I want to thank Daniel and David. I want to thank my mom. I don't know if she's not here, but hi, mom. I want to thank, uh, man. Yeah. My heart goes out to Minus, my heart goes out to my son, Frankie, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are badass, I love you, you're beautiful, thank you. Let's welcome basement gallery owner, DFW Art Awards founder, artist, DIY. Wow, um, thanks Frank, I really appreciate that man. Um, it's kind of hard to come up here after that, that great speech man. I, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I've been following all of y'all for a very long time. I, I know some of y'all might not know a whole lot about me, but I really do appreciate y'all so much. I look up to, to all of y'all. Right now, we're gonna, we're gonna do the Artist of the Year. And this artist right here is another artist that I, I really, really look up to. He's one of the best artists that I've seen. We actually, um, we went to Sunset together. We went, we went to school together. Um, just imagine, wherever you at, man, I can't see nothing out there, but man, they, they really didn't think we were going to amount to anything from Sunset, did they, man? <laughs> Look at us now, man, we're up here doing amazing things, all of us. <laughs> Carlos Don Juan is doing stuff around the world. Many magazines, many galleries, man, I, I, I follow him every day, always posting amazing, amazing things, always motivating me. He's doing stuff in Milan, doing stuff in California, doing stuff in Miami. I can just name him city after city, country after country. This guy's doing everything. He's doing amazing things. Now, you know, last but not least, but I, I would love to bring Carlos Don Juan up to the stage and shake his hand personally. Come on, Carlos Don Juan, artist of the year, everybody. All my fellow artists here, all the nominees. Uh, thank you to my parents, my brother, my crew, my son Ari, my nephew, and especially my wife who puts up with me. Um, I haven't driven her crazy yet, so she's still around. <laughs> I love you. Um, just to touch a little bit on something that Daniel touched, uh, talked a little bit about, we both went to Sunset High School in Oak Cliff, and um, it, it was kind of known as not a, the best school around, but you know. People didn't think much of kids that went to that school, and you know, we turned around and we made something out, out of ourselves. And um, I don't know if I'm, I would say I'm the artist of the year, but you know, I like to think that I, I work pretty hard, and just like all you, all you guys here tonight. And um, I, I get, I think I get that from my parents, my mom and my dad. You know, since we were kids, they've always worked really, really hard. And um, I always tell, remember, my dad always telling me, uh, and I'll tell you in Spanish, and I'll translate. 
dice, al trabajo no le tengas vergüenza, mi hijo. And that means, don't be ashamed of working hard. Um, my parents, you know, like I said, put me through school, you know, they put me through uh, my bachelor's, my master's degree. And, you know, I was never ashamed of working hard. Um, one of the hard things, I guess, for me as an artist um, is people always kind of want to say what you can and can't do. So when people said, you can't be an artist because you don't have an education. And I said, well, here, here's my bachelor's, here's my master's. When people said, you can't be a graffiti artist because you can't paint. I went out every night, painted illegal trains, illegal graffiti. I said, here you go, I can paint just like anyone else. Um, and then my, in my recent endeavor of being a, a professor at uh, UT Arlington, people say, you can't teach, you're just a kid, you know? Uh, I've been there almost six years now. I'm head of the drawing department now. And, uh, Pretty crazy how, how, how things kind of work out, but you know, uh, just a message to Daniel, a message to the DFW Awards, a message to all my fellow artists is that, you know, people are always going to say things, you know, people are always going to criticize, and I think that the best answer to that is just to work harder, you know, take that, let that be the fuel to your goals, let that, you know, help you rise above all of that. Uh, there's a lot of great goals in that. Um, and the other thing I want to touch on really quickly is, you know, the idea of being a Dallas artist and being this that DFW Award uh, recipient is that uh, I, I, I think as an artist, a lot of us kind of always grew up wanting to move out of Dallas or Texas and go to LA, go to New York, you know, that's where the things are happening. So I kind of believe that and I started traveling and I started going to these shows and I started doing well. Um, but you know, those places didn't feel very good. And you know, even though I've been to a lot of great places, it always feels good to come back to Dallas. Um, and one of the crazy things that I'm starting to realize now, for all of you guys to know, is that you know we don't have to go to LA or New York or you know wherever. Uh, I, I'm, I just found out that now LA and New York and even Milan has come to Dallas now to come get us. So keep it up. Thank you.
say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to. Anywhere I would have followed you. Latino Culture Center, um, Jim's Trophy Shop, of course, the basement. Don't forget the basement. Yeah. <laughs> North Oak Cliff Beer and Wine, Mercado Beninga, Deep Elm Training Company, yeah. yeah, Yo Rec Shop, yeah. and Mobile yeah. Bartender. Yeah. Any last words you would like to say? I know you're. Does anyone have an inhaler? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you know, for making this possible. None of this. None of this would have been possible without any of you, and all of you, every single person that's sitting here in this audience today made this happen, not for us. You made this happen for your city. Yeah. You made this happen for our city. <laughs> Will the insurance cover that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Please, 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 help us make this possible again. Yeah. Help us make this possible again. We're taking donations up in the front. If you buy tickets, every contribution helps. Every contribution will help us continue to bring all of you more things like this. Thank you so much. Let's eat tacos and get drunk. Let's go. Woo!